Good morning, Wildcats. It's a Halloween edition of announcements, and I am wearing, look, I'm wearing, I'm dressed up as a Westland principal. Uh, this shirt's coming handy, I'm not going to lie. Uh, my Halloween costume as well. All right, so got a shout out for a lot of people uh, today on our shout out portion, and we're going to talk a little bit still about uh, getting ready for parent conferences next week, so let's get to our announcements. All right, today is Tuesday, October 31st. And these are your morning announcements. Westlake Middle School is an avid school-wide side of distinction. The mission of Westlake Middle School is to reveal the genius of each wildcat through a culture of joy, respect, and excellence. We believe every person deserves to be seen, affirmed, and to grow. Let's get wildcat ready, everyone. Our land agent IDs are around our necks. Our binders and student organizers are with us. Our backpacks, fanny packs, and purses are in our lockers at all times. Hats, sunglasses, and hoods are off. AirPods and phones, any listening devices, and any phone is in your locker. And blankets, of course, stay at home. It is getting colder out. But we wear layers, and we actually turn the heat on here. All right, today is a blue day with advisory. We have advisory. Block one, block two is a lunch period. Block three, four, five. Don't forget to pursue call-outs are Wednesdays. A meets are Wednesdays. So if you have an opening on Wednesday and want to participate in after-school uh, team activity with trivia, uh, there's you've got something to do. And all meets, again, are Wednesday after school, so you must have Wednesday afternoon availability. If you need more information, please see Ms. Real, grade 6, Ms. Martini, grade 7, and Ms. Monroe, grade 8. All right, best buddies, I think they're still selling this at the very tail end of the day um, during just advisory. If you wore in a costume and you're going to pay the $5, go down there and pay them the $5. It's for a good cause. All right, our Westland focus, writing in your student organizer every class and being on time to every class has a very good foci for Westland students. Remember about cleaning up West Lane, language and messes, hallways, cafeterias, classrooms, and restrooms. Also, don't forget, too, we're going to wash those hands. 20 seconds at least. We'll have to use the restroom. And help prevent the spread of germs, use your sleeve to cough. It's called a Dracula or a vampire cough or sneeze. Don't spread disease. Do the vampire sneeze. Shh. Do you hear that coming? It's the Roarbuck Silent Auction coming Tuesday, November 14th. All right, now, here's my shout-out. The shout-out is for every advisory student yesterday. You guys did a wonderful job filling out your forms and then getting your NWA scores. We went through, and I know all grades ripped through pretty quick. I know we've got to finish up some classes today. Uh, but you guys did a great job yesterday, so I'm very proud of all of you for getting ready for your parent-teacher conferences. Don't forget about tutoring opportunities for today. We have Ms. Jago for 6th and 8th grade math, Mr. Gunn for 7th grade uh, social studies and current events, Ms. Petrano for 7th and 8th grade Spanish, Ms. Porter for 6th grade math. Tomorrow we have 7th grade uh, Mr. Gump for current events. He will also teach you not how to win in fantasy and lose by two points. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that might be something he brings up. Uh, Mr. Andre for French tomorrow and Ms. Bellamy for 7th grade math. Okay, parent-teacher conferences, preparation. Again, you also filled this out yesterday. Some of you are going to get your uh, uh, fall math scores and we gave percentiles as well. And then you guys are filling out the back. If you've not filled that out yesterday, go ahead and we're going to knock that out this morning. Uh, you may be practicing conversations today. Like, for instance, let's talk about question three over here. What has been challenging for you and you, your student, is blank has been challenging this year. I need blank. What do you need? And that's okay to be vulnerable right now and say, hey, you know, I might need a little extra time at home uh, to, to, to practice some things. Or I might need a little extra uh, at school trying to get this done. We, we, this is a part of this conversation is to help make you better. It's not to get you in trouble. And so please don't think any of this is to get you in trouble. Don't forget about the two parts of an NWA score. You have rent, writ, I don't know why I said rent, written percentile. Writ's a score you get. All right, then that writ is equivalent, regardless of what grade, you know, according to what grade you are, actually then it gives you a percentile. And that's where you're comparing with all the other students. All right, so meeting your growth goal Usually third, the three points, and I talked about that yesterday with some people, keeps you at the same percentile. Now, to go up a percentile, you actually need to grow more than your expected growth. So we gave you that number you had to meet growth. If you want to go up a percentile, though, you actually have to outscore that. So if you outscore by four, five, six points, maybe that's an extra little focus. Or, and some of you said yesterday, too, that, ooh, I lost a little focus in that test or I didn't really pay that much attention. That's really going to help. We only have one more test of NWEA. Usually we used to have three, but across the district, elementary, high school, middle school, we're only going to do two. We're going to do the fall and we're going to do the winter, which is coming up here after Thanksgiving. 
and then we're going to go all in for NW or I learn in um, April. So again, percentile, just the differences. So a 215 percentile in the fall for a student in the sixth grade was 59th percentile. Now they were 215 again in the wintertime. They go, oh, I kept the same score, but you went, actually went down in percentile. So you're expected to grow. Now, if you want to stay in that 59th percentile, you would have gotten a 218. And so you see how it goes down all the way to the 35th percentile, which is still pretty decent. Because remember, 40th percentile is on, it's like 40th percentile is your goal for proficiency. And again, too, in the um, uh, no, in December, we'll have a, a growth and proficiency party. So if you're one or the other, uh, you will get invited to that party. And if you are both, we have a little, we'll have a VIP room for you as well. All right, so zero play fighting here at Westlane, zero shadow boxing, zero two for flinching, zero neck slapping. Don't forget about each student getting an average of one pass a week per class and no passes in the first 20 minutes or last 20 minutes of class. Cafeteria, stay in your seat and have your ID. And don't forget the bell does not dismiss you from class. Your teacher does. All food should be in the cafeteria. No food should be outside the cafeteria. Breakfast students, you must report directly to the cafeteria off the bus to get breakfast. And don't forget our motto. Say it with me, everybody. Cada wildcat, cada dia me horda, which means every wildcat every day gets better. All right, let's get better today, wildcats. Have a, a great, uh, great learning day. Um, I know some of you are going to bring in candy tomorrow. Uh, don't forget about the teacher tax, though. The teacher tax, the teachers. Uh, if you're going to bring candy, share your candy with teachers. I mean, come on now. They don't do a trick or treating. Uh, maybe they give out candy for trick or treating, then bring it in. I don't know, but give your teachers a candy. All right. Have a, that's tomorrow. But today, have a great Tuesday, everybody.